What's up fam, it's your girl Haley Delane. Let's get right into today's influencer news. Logan Paul is continuing his comeback tour and took it all the way mainstream this morning by going on Good Morning America. First off, I just want to know who is watching Good Morning America under the age of like 40? Logan is clearly trying to get back in the good graces of the mainstream, but why not just hop on your own YouTube channel that has over 16 million people? Isn't that more viewers than Good Morning America? But anyway, Logan sat down with the OG Michael Strahan to chat about everything that's happened since the release of his Suicide Forest video. I'll start by saying that I actually liked the interview a bit more than expected. Logan tells Michael that ironically enough, since dropping the video, he's been told multiple times to kill himself. He said that the hate has been really challenging, but on some level, he does believe that he deserves it. I, I believe it happened for a reason. And I think that reason is so I could take this experience learn from it, spread the message the right way mm -hmm. about suicide prevention and suicide prevention awareness. Logan made an interesting point in the interview as well and clarifies that he doesn't and has never intended to make content for kids. He is 22 and says that he cusses and makes jokes that are inappropriate in his videos, but his goal has always been to make content for people his age. It's odd because, Michael, I'm 22 years old. It's not like I'm making content necessarily for kids. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I cuss, sometimes I make uh, inappropriate jokes. I want to make jokes that kids my age are going to like. I'm my own demographic. Which sounds fair to me. Logan also says that he thinks parents should be monitoring what their kids are watching more. He says that when he meets fans under 12 and their parents, he questions the parents for allowing their kids to watch him. And the parents' response is, what am I going to do? <laughs> sounds like an interesting parenting style. All in all, do I think this one interview will change everything for Logan? No. Does it help win over some of the non-social media peeps? Yeah, I'm sure it does. However, this whole video debacle doesn't seem to be hurting Logan too much. When Michael asked Logan if he was affected by getting kicked out of the YouTube Partner Program, Logan says, want to know the real answer? But how does that affect your bottom line? Um, want to know the real answer? Yeah. It hurts, but it's not like I'm drowning. It's, it's, I try not to live my life thinking about money because money doesn't make me happy. Creating and making other people happy makes me happy. Creating content to make people smile and laugh, that's what makes me happy. So clearly Logan has either been saving well or his paychecks haven't been too affected. It's also interesting because Childwise just released a study looking at media habits of 2,000 UK children, aged five to 16. And the study states for UK kids, YouTube is the most popular destination, with effectively all five to 16 year olds visiting the site. But get this, Zoella has lost her top YouTuber slot too, Logan Paul, even with all the Suicide Forest drama. And so I'm curious to hear from you guys. Do you think this interview will save Logan from YouTube extinction? Or are you ready for Logan to continue his regularly scheduled programming? Let me know. The Juarez twins have officially been kicked out of the clout gang. The twins have been in the gang since around August of last year. Rice Gum hit them up on social media and invited them over to the house. After getting to know each other, the twins signed to the clout gang and moved into the house. The twins uploaded a video yesterday titled, Why We Haven't Been Uploading. And in the video, the boys say that their time in the clout gang was the best time of their life, and they have no idea why this is all happening. All of a sudden, we, we just started to get the vibe from the people in the house that there was like something off or something wrong. And out of the blue, we were asked to leave the clout house. And when it happened, it was just as much as a surprise to us as it probably is to you guys. The team told them that they thought they just weren't ready. The boys said that they're still adjusting to the change and they're back in San Diego and still need a bit of time to process everything that's happened. They aren't sure when they'll be back online, but they did say they're coming back. <laughs> Can I just say though, the music that they're playing while they're telling the story is so great. They're literally playing Stay With Me by Sam Smith. But um, we just need a little bit of time. So we love you guys so, so much. We'll always be here for you guys. We just need a little bit of time to like process all of this stuff. Could it get any more dramatic and sad? Great touch guys. All right, guys, so I was searching for stories to cover today and I stumbled on a recent interview the one and only Poppy did on MTV's TRL. Let me just start by saying I am still totally shook and Poppy girl, you are a f***ing genius. So Poppy comes out on stage and immediately grabs a bowl of candy and starts to build a kingdom, her kingdom, completely uninterested in what's going on. Poppy, you're no, you're no stranger to a lot of streams. She's building a roller. I'll be over here building stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what, what you building, Poppy? My kingdom. My favorite part though is after Poppy's done building her kingdom, DC straight up knocks that shit down. Poppy was not having it and proceeds to dump the rest of the bowl on the floor. 
Guys, what the f is going on? She also brought out her boy Titanic Sinclair, and one of the hosts, DC, asks, so what's going on here between the two of you? And Titanic says, I'm just here to make sure she doesn't malfunction. What, what's going on? What's the deal here? What's, what's, what's happening? I'm just making sure she doesn't malfunction. She doesn't malfunction? Mm. What you mean? Um, I'm like a technician, and so I make things, uh, make sure things run smoothly. <laughs> I think she's been malfunctioning for a minute now, y'all. But wait, it gets even better. I found a video on YouTube from the channel Raining, who has made a hilarious video by chopping up the original interview, and I'm still over here dying. Check it out. We're all a little bit frustrated with that, but of course we know Hope has already has 21 Grammys of his own, and he received a salute to the industry. I'm happy to be signing! Yeah. Our countdown continues throughout the entire show. So now let's get into the question of the day. As we all know, Poppy lives in a world of her own, but I want to hear from you guys. Is Poppy just playing this act over and over again? Or is this how the real Poppy acts? Let me know. Before I go, I gotta give a huge shout out to my girl Leanne V. She has been crushing it this year already, and last night she hosted a huge event with guests and the queen herself, Jennifer Lopez. The whole squad went out last night to support, and let me tell you, it looked lit. Leanne wore one of her looks from her guest collection and got to interview Jennifer and Paul Marciano himself. All right, you guys, that's all I got for you today, but be sure to comment below and let me know what you guys think about these stories. As always, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of my influencer news. I'm your girl, Haley Delane. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.